Hey everybody, Sean here, and yes, apparently Todd Bentley is back. He's been out of the spotlight for quite a while now, so if you're not familiar with him, he's the guy that Bill Johnson, Peter Wagner, Che Ann, and a bunch more in the NAR movement commissioned as a great man of God in a ceremony and prophesied all the great things Todd would do with his ministry. Shortly after that, he left his disabled wife and children to marry his assistant, Jess, and you might recognize her here. She's well known for this episode of some spirit taking over her and having her shake out of control while she so-called prophesied. Todd had regular meetings with his angel, Emma, and was always calling for angel encounters and fire from heaven. He even admitted to having 25 demons in him as a Christian when he trashed a room at a meeting. But probably what he's most well known for is his outrageous methods of healing, where he claims God told him to kick an old lady in the face with his biker boots. And there's this older lady worshipping right in front of the platform. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit spoke to me, the gift of faith came on me. He said, kick her in the face <laughs> with your biker boot. I inched closer and I went like this, BAM! And just as my boot made contact with her nose, she fell into the power of God. Despite all this, the people of Bethel continued to support and promote his ministry until they realized how much damage he was doing to their reputation and made a decision to wash their hands of the unbiblical heresy that is Todd Bentley. So. After being out of the North American spotlight, focusing on ministry elsewhere, and promoting his beard products, he's heard from God and is back to pollute the Christian world again. Apparently, he posted on Facebook about God speaking to him on his 45th birthday. He says in the summer of 2020, he had a series of angelic encounters, visions, and personal encounters with God. So. On his birthday, God gave him a new 25-year mandate focused on the harvest and the nations. So if you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, hide the grandparents because that's the first place he'll be going with his biker boots. And he's asking us to pray about a first fruit seed, that is, financial donation for relaunch and recovery of his damaging ministry. Don't even need to pray about that one. This was only posted five days ago, and he's already got 44 people thumbs-upping and hearting this post. It just emphasizes how naive and deceived people really are today. Even Michael Brown said that based on numerous first-hand reports going back as far as 2004, the NAR crowd said and agreed that without a doubt, Todd is not qualified to serve in leadership or ministry today. And there's credible accusations of a steady pattern of ungodly behavior from as far back as 2004 right up to 2019. Not to mention a laundry list of some absolutely terrible things that would disqualify someone from ministry forever. This is yet another reason that we should not follow or trust anyone in Bethel or the New Apostolic Reformation. It took them so many years of endorsing and supporting this heretic to actually cut him off. They have no discernment. I have a Todd Bentley playlist if you want to find a lot more detailed info on this guy. But trust me, he's not a man you want to be fellowshipping with. Anyhow. Hope this short clip helped, and as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below, and we'll see you next time.